friends, doing a quick little update here on Zomatica. So wow, yesterday, Friday, Zomatica shot up even more. And I'm gonna be honest, I thought we were just gonna stay around the 130s. And man, was I wrong, and I'm so glad I was wrong. This thing shot up to right under $2. So going back just a month ago when we had our first big pop on Zomatica, we hit around 130. Then we went right back into the 90 cent range, playing around there. And now, just this last week, Zomatic has been shooting up. And look at these shelves we're starting to build with Zomatica. You've got one and you've got two. And these are drastic shelves we're seeing right here. Now, like I've said about Zomatica, the closer and closer we get to this March 30th date, these shelves right here, we're going to start to see these more and more and more because you're having all these new investors come in. You're having all these people coming in and they're grabbing massive amount of shares. And this is what is building these shelves right now. Now going into this week, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of volatility. We're going to see some sell off. We're probably going to see maybe even a 150 and then shoot back up into the 180s. Now, if you're wondering, is this stock going to go back down below a dollar? Guys, I think we might be done with a dollar. I think that might be it. I think you had your chance to get this for a dollar or under a dollar. That might be gone right now. But going into this next week, I'm going to tell you this right now. There's going to be a lot of short sellers in this. They're going to be selling. They're going to be buying, buying, selling. And guys, you've just got to wait it out. I know a lot of you already have your shares in. You've already got your money in there and you're just letting it ride out. But if you're thinking about doing some short trading here, I would be very careful because we're getting into waters right now where a lot of us think that closer to March 30th we're going to see higher numbers, but who knows, maybe by the end of February we could see some higher numbers. So that's what I'm saying right now. If you think, oh, I'm just going to sell this at $1.80 and then I'm going to buy back at $1.30, I would be careful. I would be careful. If this thing hits over $2 Monday going into Tuesday, we may not see it under $2 for much longer. Because guys, this was a massive pop. I mean, this was a massive pop we had here. And guys, Wall Street is looking at this stock now. You have massive firms. You have massive amount of people. You have a massive amount of new investors looking at Zomatica. They're reading about it. They know what's going to happen. This is when you have a lot of sharks come in here. This is when you have a lot of people that have a lot of knowledge and a lot of history. Then most of us come in here and they go, oh, I already see what's going to happen here. There's going to be a massive pop up to the product release date. And guys, they're just going to pump the stock. The stock is going to get pumped. And guys, there's a lot of YouTubers talking about the stock and saying this is going to be a $10, $15 stock. Do I believe it could be? Sure, this is a stock market. Anything can happen. There is no rules, like I've said a million times. I would like to say just from the history of knowing stocks and what they do with a massive jumping like this in a two-day period, Monday, I'm thinking we're going to see some massive sell-off and then maybe go back down to a $1.50, $1.60 range. But guys, if you're new to Zomatica and you're wondering, have I missed the boat? Is $1.90 too much to pay right now? Personally, I don't think $1.90 is too much because I'm expecting to see a 4 to $5 at least range here by March. But I know as this stock grows, more and more YouTubers are going to talk about it. Bigger YouTubers, guys, with a lot more audience than what I have. More hedge funds are going to talk about this. More articles, analysts, they're going to talk about this. It's going to bring in a lot of people. So if you're thinking like, I don't know if I should pull the trigger, you know, you as an investor, you have to make a decision. I'm not a professional analyst in any means. I'm just a guy who loves the stock market, who's obsessed with it, and who's had a lot of luck in it. And I think charts tell you a lot, and we're starting to see some stacking going on here. But going into next week, I think Monday we could definitely see a $1.50 range. And if it were to sit at that $1.50 range, I think that would be great. I, I think that's a great number. And I think that's a great range to start stacking, starting at $1.50 to $1.80 to breaking into a $2 range. And then going into $2.10, 230 250 and just seeing this thing stack and stack and stack but guys that's my hopes that's my dreams that's my thoughts on zomatica and what we're starting to see here and how it's playing out but guys best of luck i hope you have a fantastic day god bless you all and thank you so much i really do mean that and i appreciate it, guys bye bye